Apple is going to be attending CES for the first time in 28 years. Uh, this headline caught my attention, but then the story is kind of a bit of a uh, anti uh, climatic, climactic, climato, anti climato. It's sort of like a a, a bloody mary yeah. with a celery stock yeah. and a little rim spice. Yeah, you don't get the fixins. You know, there's so there's a popular drink called a Caesar which only people in Canada really know about because it was invented, I believe, in the Fairmont in Calgary, something like this. And it was a variation on a Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. And I actually prefer it. Then so the Bloody Caesar. So Or the Bloody... The Bloody Mary. Mary is the classic version. The Caesar adds something. What does it add to it? Oh. No, 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 no. No, it's not. It's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I thought they had that in Bloody Mary. Do they have that in Bloody Mary as well? I don't know what's different then. But it doesn't say that on the ingredients right there. Do Bloody Mary versus Caesar. This is the type of thing you try to order a Caesar outside the country. Yeah, you're right. Tomato and clam juice. Look at that. And Bloody Mary is plain tomato juice. So now people are like, that must be disgusting, but it's not. You just have to actually try it. It's actually not disgusting. Yeah. And people like to drink it for breakfast. You add a hot dog on there. Yeah, throw delicious. a hot dog in and have yourself a time. Have yourself a Double. good Canadian time. Throw some maple syrup in it while you're at it. I yeah. don't know. Uh, how, did <laughs> how do we get there, man? What? How do we get to that? Oh, climatic. climatic, climactic. So we got to Clamato, which brought us there. Anyway, so yeah, it sounds like they're going to have a presence at CES, but in reality, they're not. They're getting such a minor presence. Is it going to be another ad? For sure, they're going to have ads, privacy stuff. They love privacy. If they go to CES, it's only to yell at people. <laughs> it's all, how dare you! You're doing it wrong. It's only to go to CES to say how dare you to everyone else in the game. Which, if you're Apple, yeah. You got the American vibe going on. Uh, the, you got the familiar logo. Why not play up the, the privacy aspect? Particularly in Las Vegas, as they did last year. It just, it fits. It's good marketing. Uh, so they're going to send an executive to sit on a panel about privacy. They're gonna, they're gonna, of course, emphasize that they are your your best choice if you are a private individual, and they're just gonna talk about privacy in the industry in general. The uh, the more important thing here for people who are unfamiliar, Apple's just not interested in in participating in the greater uh, segment in that way, in a CES type of way. They they were they did at one time, but now they're sort of. They're on their own. They host their own events. In some cases, they actually host events alongside CES to kind of steal some of the thunder. I don't know if that's going to happen this year, but they're going to be there in a very limited fashion. And who knows? They may even have a, some Clamato while they're there. Yeah, why not? The executive might wake up in the morning. And you know what? They may request a Caesar, and then the staff at the casino, the hotel, is going to say, what are you talking about? And they're gonna, and then they're gonna have to explain how to make it, because any mixologist should know the Canadian alteration yeah. on the classic. A little clam juice. I don't know, man. Sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Mix it up. Have a time. So anyway, you, I guess you, if you're at CES, you can go check the panel. I'm not gonna be at CES this year. I haven't been in a, a while myself. I'm like Apple. I'm out for the next 28, mm. and then I come back to talk about. Uh, Privacy. Yeah. I come back to yell at other people in 28 years. <laughs>